Hi everyone, welcome to my intro blog. I, my name is Hannah Mitchell, and yeah, I guess we'll just hop right in. So, talking about how anger, mental health, sex, and control intersect over the course of women's history. I think a lot of that does start with the history of witches, um, especially with the video we watched of the history of hysteria, with the symptoms being like emotional outbursts, anxiety, melancholy, things like that. Um, that being considered hysteria and also like before it was uh, considered like a neurological thing, it was a physical thing, like having to do with the uterus. We just see throughout the course of history how women's bodies are used as a, uh, a form of control, male control and in a way that um, the patriarchy can control women. Uh, and the fact that a solution to hysteria was considered like having was having more sex or being pregnant more often, um, we really just see how it how it started and how the control of women started through their emotions and and their natural state of being. Uh, and I guess they just pretended like men didn't have these things too, which is a little uh, ridiculous in my opinion. Um, but we see this still throughout the course of history in literature, film, and music. Um, Mad woman, Mad Woman, Taylor Swift song that we watched the lyric video to is one of my favorites. Uh, and I love when she says, every time I get more crazy, every time you call me crazy, I get more crazy. What about that? Um, and that immediately made me think of the recent, I think it was a 2022 film, Don't Worry Darling with um, Florence Pugh. She played Alice who they were in this simulation and all the women were being controlled by the men. And she starts finding things out uh, and she's just being called crazy and insane over and over again. And eventually, you know, she does lose her mind. Uh, and I just think that's a really great representation of, um, of that lyric and, and how women are expected to react to being called crazy. Like, what do you want me to do about it? Uh, besides go insane because you think I am. Uh, I think that's just a really present theme throughout all of women's history. Um, and as far as literature, I read a book recently called I who have never known men. Um, and the main character is a young woman who's lived in a bunker her whole life with other women. And the only males that she knows are the guards. Um, so it's really, it shows the absence of these, these um, male controlling themes and how that affects her and how she doesn't really have this, mm, these, these things that are being uh, pushed down on her and, and expected of her by men. And it was just really interesting to read that um, and see what the absence of, of the patriarchal expectations can do to someone. Uh, so I thought that was an interesting literature example, I guess. But yeah, I think it's just this, the way that all these things intersect is men just taking advantage of, of the emotions of women um, that are completely natural. And in turn, because that happens, it makes us seem crazy, I guess, in in the best sense of the word, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I, I truly believe that women are all witches in the sense that we endure and derive power from our emotions and our natural state of being. And when uh, Matilda and Joc Jocelyn Gage said, brilliant minds, witches are brilliant minds of their age and a threat to the patriarchy, I believe in in that sense we're witches as well and that we're all a threat to the patriarchy um and mona also said in the first video which i loved that you're all volcanoes uh when women's rage and women's emotions outburst it's a volcano that affects the geography of the world physically and metaphorically um so yeah and i think my biggest challenge and looking at the syllabus will probably be our timed writing responses just because our time and that stresses me out, but it'll be okay. And then I'm most looking forward to um, just getting into the text, doing some close reading and looking at history of female rage and mad women and things like that. So yeah.